hooked up on the fork or with the hairs. I'm uh, harrowing today. I hope the wind isn't getting into the microphone here. But I wanted to show you the three horse setup on my fork cart here. We've got Dottie, Leia, and Vega working on the fork cart here. I was out this morning harrowing, got some footage, but I wanted to give you a shot of the you can see I have the outboard horse here on the near side just tied in with this little lead shank here. Just don't really need it, but it's just a little bit of insurance here. So at the back here, I have uh, the um, three horse evener. So this is a combination three horse and four horse evener. And there's multiple rings here. Right now, when I'm using three, I use the offset hole in the center there, or off to the center, and then I use the inboard rings on each end. I have the single tree out here, the double tree over there, just hooked on with clevises, and then the lines up. I've got out the outside horse has the long lines, and then there's little short, short shanks running from the inside horse's aim ring down to the inside bit ring of each outside horse. So that's how I drive three, and that's a pretty standard way you guys do it. Now at the back here, we've got. This is a 10 foot chain harrow, just ordinary chain harrow, and I got it hooked on the back of the fork cart here. And I got it hooked up with a bit of a, just with this piece of chain here. This gives me a little bit more room if I need to turn. Let's make a nice square corner. But you could just hook it on the drawbar with the clevis, the drawbars up in here, sitting here. Normally the draw bar would be in this receiver hole there and then just a clevis on, but I'm using the chain. It actually gives a nice little pull. It takes a bit of the weight off the tongue when you're in a draft because it pulls up a little bit higher. So same way I would skid logs. So this is this is the setup we're using today. So I'm gonna head off to the field and get get heroin some uh, some hay fields.